Well, tonight we're hearing from locals who are experiencing homelessness, who were unable to wash their own clothes until today. It's all thanks to some volunteers. Victor Park joins us now live here in the studio after spending part of his day with them. Victor, what do you think? That's find right, out? Ryan. And you know what? This group is made up of about four people and a laundromat owner. They know people often draw conclusions when seeing a homeless person. Those running the program, Laundry for the People, want to change that narrative. It's been uh, difficult out here. It's been three weeks since Clinton Midgley has done laundry. It's been a while. Things happen. But at Mr. Bubble's laundromat in Reno, and it's going to be busy. Despair washes away. When they actually give us a chance to feel better about it, makes us want to try a little bit. This is laundry for the people. Basically, we just ask for donations and we show up here every week and we help people do their laundry. A program Ilya Arbutman and his team put together. We fill in, a, uh, I think, kind of a pretty important gap so that people can have clean clothes, feel more self-confident, you know, do what they need to do to get back on their feet or just survive for another week. Because for some like Jody J, dirty clothes means losing clothes during the city's encampment sweep. Our clothes blankets, stuff that, you know, we just had to leave behind because they were dirty. You make a, a lot more judgments than you're even aware of. You kind of write a whole life story for someone just by seeing them for the first time. And so being able to even just wear clean clothes, you know, that can change a lot. Simply with laundry detergent and some change that have all been donated. The dryer service is paid by James Lamont, who owns the laundromat in an area frequented by the homeless. It makes some people feel uncomfortable, but rather than just run them off, we thought it would be better to do something for them. In 2021, more than 600 loads were washed, and it keeps going. So on this Friday afternoon, Midgley is wasting no time. Nope, I'm not wasting any time on clean laundry. It's always nice to have some clean clothes on finally. Finally, because it's nice to feel better. It's nice to have confidence. So finally, they can walk into a place without being judged. If we can all just relax and stop looking at each other uh, like everybody has got uh, something against us or, or is is foolish because they don't think the way we are, I think you can get a lot more done. And you can help the program by donating money, laundry detergent, and even clothes. They meet every day, every Friday rather, at Mr. Bubble's laundromat at the corner of East 2nd and Mill Streets from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. You know what's crazy, man, though? This story is personal to me because as a kid growing up in L.A., my family experienced homelessness. We lived out of a laundromat. It was we could barely you know, wash our clothes, have that money. So seeing this kind of impact in this uh, community, seeing what this guy is doing, you know, look at where I'm at now. That's the kind of impact you can have. I'll send it back to you.